How to draw an x-ray hand. Starting with a black piece of paper, use a white pencil to carefully trace your hand and your arm. Make sure you are taking your time with this step or taking turns with a friend to help you. You want to make sure you do a nice job with the outline so that when you start drawing your bones, uh, you can do your spacing easily and correctly. To draw the bones of our hands, we're going to use a reference guide as well as our own hand. Each of your fingers has three bones. You can see the joints dividing them. And your thumb has two bones, which is why you only have one joint bending. So using the reference and your hand, we are going to draw in each of your finger bones. I actually like to put my hand down next to it like this so that I can use the joints of my fingers to help measure out the lengths of the bones. Um, it helps me get measurements that match my hand tracing shape because I'm using my actual joints as a reference. Make sure you are taking care to put in three bones in each finger except the thumb. Even if you are not measuring against your hand, take care with the sizes, um, but remember you can always make changes like you see me do here. When we go to your hand, you will notice that each of your fingers, including your thumb, connects to a bone in your hand. If you flex your hand, you can kind of see the tendons that run along the bones, and you might be able to feel them. So when we go to this next step, we are just connecting another bone to each of your fingers. These bones run down into your hand and will connect to your wrist bone. Make sure they all touch each other at the bottom, but they should not touch each other all the way down. In your wrist, you have a lot of small bones, so make sure you are paying attention to the reference here. You'll see one that kind of sticks out on the side and you can feel and see that bone on your wrist. So carefully look at how each uh, shape of the bones looks and what finger bones it connects to and fill in the two rows of small wrist bones. When you go to your arm, your forearm has two bones, the ulna and the radius. You might be able to feel them in your arm. Uh, the radius is much larger than the ulna, so make sure you're drawing that wider and the other bone a lot skinnier. And then you will have your finished skeleton hand. The coloring and shading is very important to make your hand really look like an x-ray. You will choose a light, medium, and dark value of your color, or at least a light and dark value. On the, left on the left side of all of your bones, you are going to use the light value. Your lightest color will go down the left side of each bone, and you can curve it in a little bit around the top for a little bit of a highlight. It's important not to do too much of one color since you can always layer later. Your middle value will go down the middle of your bones. You can let it overlap a little bit with the uh, lightest color or you can go back in and do that blending later. And your darkest value will go down the right side of all of your bones. It's also a good idea to let the dark value curve under each bone just a little bit. After your bones are all shaded, you are going to go over your outline with a white oil pastel and another color. I am using yellow. Green would also be a good option. Then you are going to pull that pastel out with your finger. Here you can see I am just turning my paper so that I can always pull the oil pastel away from the hand. Be careful, you'll see in my one finger, I accidentally pulled out a little bit of blue. It's not a big deal if that happens, uh, but you do want to try to keep it to your white and yellow um, and your outside x-ray color. And finally, you're going to be left with an awesome looking x-ray hand.